There may have been times in life when you look back and realize you were in your comfort zone, when things were running fairly smoothly, without tremendous uncertainty or unexpected disruption. And then there's now. Life can kick us out of our comfort zone without our permission, right into our fears and concerns and the emotions that go with them. So now I've got three options. Number one, I can stay in my fear, hoarding toilet paper and spreading fear and uncertainty to others. Or two, I can run from my fears and frantically try to recreate some form of comfort zone for myself. Or three, I can own my fears and emotions, move into the learning zone, and choose to grow. Hi, I'm John Reardon. For over 20 years, I've been working with leaders and teams to help you expand your capacity to accomplish your mission. Well, right now in the midst of this crisis, I've been focusing on adapting and expanding my own capacity to continue to have an impact and support leaders and teams in all kinds of new and challenging ways. I hope what I've been learning about facing my own fears and continuing to try to move into growth will be of benefit to you. In 2009, Alistair White, a British business management theorist, coined the term comfort zone and identified that we would have to move through some amount of fear and stress and into learning in order to grow. This model has been adapted to the current situation and this core question really hit home for me. Who do I want to be during this crisis? For me, the fear zone looks like spreading emotions related to fear and anger, frequent complaints, especially to my family members, getting mad easily, you know, real leadership stuff. So what does the fear zone look like for you? Are there signals? Are there triggers? Are there certain behaviors, certain emotions that you can see that'll let you know that you are in your fear zone? So one option we have is to try to scramble back into some type of artificial comfort zone. We can binge on Netflix, we can make repeated trips to the fridge and spend lots of time on unproductive social media. Okay, we can eliminate that from the who we want to be. Let's turn the other direction and look at the learning zone. So for me, it all starts out with reaching out for help. I am incredibly grateful for my faith, my family, my friends and colleagues who have been so supportive and encouraging and helping coach me through this. Who can you reach out to? Don't try to handle this alone. When you realize you're in that fear zone and you want to make the turn into learning, step up and the first point of courage may be reaching out for help. You know, others can help us work through this. They can help us identify and evaluate our emotions, let go of what we can't and shouldn't even try to control, redirect compulsive behaviors, and recognize that others are contributing in all kinds of ways. And if we move into that learning zone, then we can start to see the growth zone. This describes who I want to be. Thinking of others and seeing how I can help them, using my talents to encourage them, showing empathy and appreciation, and looking for new ways to adapt. I'd be lying if I said I was there. I am not yet maintaining a happy emotional state all the time or spreading sunshine everywhere I go. Patience is not my strong suit and my fears creep back in regularly. But this is the direction I want to move in, helping others, appreciating others, adapting and growing. This is who I want to be. It's okay to recognize when you're in the fear zone and it's okay to ask for help. Rather than scrambling back into a false comfort zone, Move with courage into your learning zone and into the growth zone. Ask yourself each day, maybe each hour, if not every minute, who do I want to be? I hope you found that helpful and encouraging. You know, it's interesting, I find this model is also challenging on a larger scale. We need to ask ourselves in our organizations, in our communities, our nations, and as a global community, who do we want to be? And let's help each other get there.